Welcome back. This is our first section, Introduction and Basics of Software Testing. In this section, we are going to learn what is software testing, why do we need testing, what all the different methods and process involved in testing and so on. Before getting into the technical aspects, let's begin this with a real-time example. We all have a charger and when we place our charger, we always expect our phone to get charged. If it is not happening, the first thing what will you do is, we will just go verify whether the charger cable is plugged in properly or not. If it is plugged in and still not being charged, we will remove the charger and put it in a different socket and check whether the phone is getting charged or not. And then if it is not being charged, we will remove the cable and place it in our laptop and check whether the charger cable is actually working or not. If still the phone is not being charged, we will replace the charger, put a new charger and check whether the phone is being charged or not. If none of the things are working, we will finally restart our phone to check whether the fault is with the mobile or is with the charger. So this is called as testing. The process of finding out bugs and delivering an error-free application to the customer is called as software testing. Software testing is nothing but verifying whether the product is performing what it is intent to perform. This intention is here termed as requirements. So, software testing always ensures whether the requirements are matched with the end product. There will be a set of requirements given before the development of the product and testing makes sure whether the end product match the requirement. Let me give you an example. Everybody uses WhatsApp. The intention or the requirement of WhatsApp is to send a text message, share photo, share video files, place a video call, place a voice call, send a voice message, share contacts and so on. These are the requirements of WhatsApp. So, testing will ensure whether all the requirements are matched. By testing WhatsApp, we will perform each and every task like sending a message, sending a video, sending a voice message and verify whether the end product is matching all the requirements. This is the important aspect of software testing. So now your requirements are matched. Your application is an error-free application. Is it all enough? No. The main thing you need is quality. Quality means not only the requirement matching, not only the error-free application, but also the user-friendliness and performance of the application. Everything put together is called as a quality product. How will testing ensure whether a quality product is delivered or not? You have different types of testing. You have functional testing, you have performance testing, you have usability testing and so on. So the different aspects of the product are tested separately. This will ensure whether the quality product is delivered. For example, we will take Instagram or Facebook. In Facebook or Instagram, each one of us have more than 300 friends. So every one of us will update the status simultaneously. Every one of us will upload the photos or videos in Insta at the same time. But the application is still behaving at the same speed and application is giving the same response time for each of us. That is why these are called as quality products. 